Investigating if the man charged in two Portland murders is a suspect in a Seattle shooting. KGW's Tim Gordon is live at the Portland Police Bureau. So Tim, tell us who we're talking about. Ashley, we're talking about 26 year old James Javante Barquette. Portland police arrested him for back to back murders here last month. This is Barquette in his booking photo on November 20th. It's after Portland police arrested him for a deadly crime spree that started the night before. They say Barquette killed a 70 year old woman under the west end of the Morrison Bridge. Then hours later, police say he killed a 51 year old man on the Burnside Bridge. Both had been shot in the head. In between the apparently random killings, police say Barquette pulled a gun on a gas station clerk to steal a pack of smokes. Now to Seattle, where a woman was shot in the head and seriously injured at a bus stop. It was in the early hours of November 19th, not long before the crimes in Portland. Witnesses say a man shot the woman after they argued, then he ran to a nearby hotel. Seattle police are circulating this surveillance video from the hotel, trying to identify the people in it. So, could the man getting into the car be Barquette? Seattle police will only say they're looking into it along with any other possibilities, but they're not calling anyone a suspect yet. Our news partners at the Oregonian report, Seattle detectives came down to Portland and attempted to interview Barquette. Portland police can't comment on the Seattle case, but did say cooperation is not unusual. Crimes and the people that commit crimes oftentimes do not just reside in one specific jurisdiction and that they